Uh, dear colleagues, dear guests, um, our conference links science with practice from the local to the international scale. And this is in accordance with the major principles of the joint programming initiative Urban Europe. We are delighted to welcome Margit Noll, the chair of its management board. Margit plays a very important role in shaping uh, the European re research agenda for the next decade. She will introduce us now the new founded European partnership titled Driving Urban Transitions to a Sustainable Future. So Margit, the floor is yours. Please, we are happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure being here and I would have loved to visit again Leipzig and meet you all in person, but unfortunately that is not possible. But still, I would like to congratulate Sigrun and the entire team for the effort to make this conference happen under these circumstances and to translate that into a digital setting, which I know is very hard and very time consuming. So many thanks for making that happen. Um, yeah, I, I would love to pick up some of the statements from the previous speakers and, and reflect a bit from the point of view of a research and innovation program. Uh, also, the, the importance of, of urban rural cooperation has been mentioned, the importance of transforming our functional urban areas is, is key and it has been laid out previously uh, that we will not be able to meet our sustainability goals. Might that be the SDGs, might that be the Green Deal or the Leipzig Charter without really looking uh, at, the, at the urban functional scale. So I would just give me a sec, try to share my input and I hope you can see that. So you need to give me a hand if everything works. Um, I would like to share our approach um, and, and address uh, the role of research and innovation and science in the whole setting to, to make this transformation happen. So let me start with having a look at the global context. Uh, the United Nations is quite clear in its message that we need to come from word to action. The SDGs uh, have the implementation of the SDGs has been rather slow over the last years. Um, not all in Europe, uh, everywhere, globally. So the clear call is to get into action and come from theory into practice on all possible levels, right? We need to look into our policy making on the national and global level. We need to focus on the local action at, at the core of transformation in the neighborhoods in our cities and regions. To, to transform the local policy making and change our approaches, implement new solutions, but also on the people level, get into action and let the society be part of that. Let everyone understand the urgency of action, that we need to change behavior, that we need, that we need to create a dynamic in transforming our cities. And the New Leipzig Charter plays a very essential role in that. It's very timely and a very good guideline for, for decision makers in the cities, municipalities and regions, whatever their, their size that is. And in this context, also urban research and innovation plays a crucial role uh, by, by not only creating new knowledge, right? It, we, we, so much is already there. It's then really the role of creating this evidence and providing the input and, and the cooperation to policy making. It's about making available these research results uh, so that everyone can benefit from this and in supporting capacity building. So I think there is a very significant contribution that research and innovation has, has to play and, and can play, but this also puts some new demands on our research community, on the research system in order to change some procedures, open up much more across disciplines and silos. So there is things that we need to take up in how we are designing research and innovation programs, how we do research and innovation in the future to create a much higher impact and take the potential that research and innovation offers into, into the, the action and into our cities. 
So what we learned in our program over the last years, and this is an intergovernmental program, right? We have 20 countries participating here. Uh, we, we set up different actions and in our consultations with all the stakeholders, not only the researchers to a wide extent with cities and, and, and regional actors as well. So we see the need to get into action. And Maria just said it before, it's a, the, the how we're doing that is at least equally important than the what. Right? The what is specified, the Leipzig Charter identifies things that we need to deal with. The SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, identify what needs to be done. But we need to get the how right how we really create the impact, how research provides evidence that matters. And one of the key issues, again, Maria referred to that as well, is we need a shared visions. We need to get everyone on board. We need to create, and also your president of the Helmholtz uh, Society pointed that out. We need to create uh, visions that matter, that everyone can buy in, that we can communicate well, so that everyone that needs to act can act accordingly and align. That also requires that we have to create this good practice. We need to have experiments, but looking at Europe, we have so many pilot exercises, experiments going on. What we lack is to connect them well to the daily business. We need to create approaches that allow us to take use of these experiments and really make them as part of our daily business in the city administration, in municipalities, in regional policy making, everywhere. They need to become part of our daily routine to experiment and test. We need to open up. And this gives research a very strong role in the cooperation with policy making. And in order to be able to do all that, we need to build the capacities in all our authorities, in all our institutions and organizations that we can deal with the complexity uh, go across the silos, deal with the dilemmas that are coming up uh, in order to address this. So what we want to tackle and the role that science can play that also we in our partnership want to pick up is capacity building. Research and innovation must cooperate much more strongly with the, all the different stakeholders, engage them, co-design the solutions uh, in order to create the impact. We don't, we, we can't, uh, continue with keeping it in a, in a scientific context or within academic, academic discussions. We need to ensure that all the actors are part of the exercise of the experiment and be part of the solution. Uh, at the same time, uh, the, an integrated approach, it has just been mentioned by all the speakers before, uh, is, is essential, uh, but that also puts the request of, for, for researchers to listen very closely to the policymakers on all the levels, to the kind of problem owners, might that be business or societal actors, initiatives, communities, what the problems, the challenges, the dilemmas are, and then create solutions for these particularly. So we should move from a very research-centered approach, where research defines what should be done, to a challenge-driven approach, where the problem owners defines it. Only then we'll be able to tackle a mission, achieve a mission, uh, address these transformation in a wider sense. And it comes rather without saying that inter and transdisciplinary research is key. Uh, and this requires that all the disciplines need to open up. So the participation can't only be part of the social sciences, right? Uh, also the kind of hard sciences, engineers need to open up. We need to find new languages across the disciplines, across the sectors, to ensure that we can tackle all these challenges. And thirdly, uh, we need to bring this knowledge from that we created in, in, our, in these co-designed processes into our cities and regions in Europe and beyond that. So this replication, making the knowledge available, not only in scientific publications, right, but in something that can be taken up easily, that is accessible, that we trans translate these results uh, for a wider use, this is really essential. So we are kind of up to taking this challenge, uh, taking the experiences from JPI Urban Europe into the next phase. At the moment, we are designing a European partnership called Driving Urban Transition. And this is exactly, as you see the vision laid out here, this is not about a traditional research and innovation program. This is about uh, supporting all the authorities, all the 
institutions involved, all the urban actors, to get and translate global strategies into local action. And that we create the skills and tools so that we can make this change happen. And this requires new procedures, as, as just uh, laid out. We have identified three thematic pillars, three priorities which are aligning strongly to the Green Deal priorities, to the Leipzig Charter priorities, so that we set up a, a program that really contributes to what policy has laid out as priorities, where we can translate our agenda into specific areas where the transformation needs to uh, play out well. And all of them, if you look at these, uh, will not succeed when we just look into the administrative urban context, right? None of this will play out without the regional context. So when we look into the transforming our urban energy systems and creating positive energy districts and neighborhoods, we, we can't do that without the regional energy system, without compensating the dense urban areas and, and, and taking advantage of regional opportunities for, for in, renewable energy generation. Likewise, the mobility system, 15-minute city concept offers different opportunities uh, to create neighborhoods, might they be dense or, or less dense populated, to provide and create all the services within a sufficient reach uh, that we need to, to connect all the different uh, functional regional areas well in a mobility system that works through different modes. And on the other side, uh, looking into new urban economies, I think there is quite a new potential to bring back urban manufacturing into the cities. And this will have implications on commuting and where the jobs are. Uh, circularity offers new, new uh, potential in, in creating the jobs in a different way in our uh, urban areas again. And likewise, urban farming uh, will have an implication on, on food production and how the flow of materials will go between regions and, 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 the, and the core of the city. So all these areas will require uh, a, a strong urban-rural cooperation on all ends in order to make them happen. So summing up, I think my, my, my main message is risk to really have a strong say and a strong contribution of research and innovation to the transformation. Uh, we need to listen closely to what the policies are highlighting as the need for action. We need to deal with the new forms of governance, regulatory frameworks, all these matters for research prioritization. And we need to ensure that research creates a frame for experimentation for all the partners and that we can contribute to building capacities and creating good practice. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Margit. This was very impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, you will get more, receive more information on this very important initiative in the afternoon session number three, which will start at 1.30 p.m. Central European time. And I invite all of you to uh, participate uh, in this session and have a strong interaction and discussion with Margit. Thank you very much, Margit. Thank See you. See you later. Thank you.